dear students welcome to our class practicals on pressure before we go into our uh, class on practicals on pressure uh, i would like to request you please download practicals on pressure well before your exam well before your practical class so that you can study well because there is a problem of internet my youtube channel is agrometrology farmers and rural development so, so before we go into the class actually to inspire you a small quote what is it challenges come in life Challenges come in life. Troubles come in life. They should not throw us down. They should not allow us to bow our head down. What we should do? They are meant for sharpen our abilities and wake us up. In order to face troubles or challenges or problems, a lot of courage is necessary. So this is the quote of the class. Now let's go straight into the class pressure. Uh, again, as I said, you know, in the theory class, Pressure, you know, pressure is defined as force per unit area. Standard pressure is defined as the pressure uh, exerted by a column of air, uh, which is extended of the outermost boundary layer of the atmosphere. Okay, or a unit area or uh, of uh, square inch or square centimeter, like that. I told in the theory. Okay, they are available. Yeah, YouTube, uh, I have uploaded. No, let me not uh, uh, again repeat what exactly is the pressure, what is the importance of pressure uh, as for a theory is concerned. Let us go straight into. Practicals. What is it? Okay, so there are two types of barometers: mercury barometers and any roid barometers. Okay, there are two types of barometers: mercury barometers and roid barometers. That's it. So, what are the mercurial barometers? Fortin's and Cubaton. These are the mercurial barometers. Now, Fortin's barometer. What is the principle? Very simple principle. Okay, if you take a saucer and put okay a glass a half glass full of water. Okay, take the saucer and keep it there upside down. So it is a balancing. So again, it's the pressure. You know what is simple. I am not saying the same physical principle just to give you an understanding. Same thing is there in the fourteenth parameter. What is it? Balancing of column of air. Balancing column of air against a column of mercury in a sealed glass tube. So the height of the mercury column is proportional to the pressure. It's very very simple. Like as I said, you know. So take a glass. Okay. Uh, okay. Put, put some water in. Or that you know you put the Take the saucer and keep it up and upside down. So it is a balancing like this only in the not exactly physical principle, only general example. I am telling you, the daily life example only I am telling, not exactly. Here, the principle once again for your academic interest balancing of the column of air against a column of mercury in a sealed glass tube. This is the basic principle. Now, so what is the operation measurement of the Fortis barometer? Now, the Fortis barometer is a familiar sight. It, most of the micro meteorological laboratories uh, and uh, it is an of course it is essential okay pressure is essential but uh, as far as practical is concerned i have designed uh, one experiment at the end you know 15 16 17 slides i told one experiment what is it vapor pressure i have put it actual pressure you learn from here vapor pressure how to measure in the field in the open field and comparison that i have now so what is operation measurement very simple the fortis barometer is a familiar site at most of the micro laboratories it consists of a glass tube of uniform cross section and length which is closed at one end okay it is glass one which is closed at one end now so it is about one meter in length approximately 95 to 105 uh, centimeters that's approximately one meter in length filled with mercury and then converted with the uh, it's a lower end open into the movable system of the mercury. system. This is the most important part of this particular okay. What is the system? That's it. So you see, so when uh, there is a when uh, there is a setting up, okay, there is a thermometer, there is a clamp. Okay, this is what uh, okay, mercurial uh, barometer. How it looks is one of the diagrams which I had written. Okay, yeah, uh, to, to my left side is the fixed, to my right side is the 14. So the system, as I said, this is very, very important. The system vessel contains mercury with a flexible leather bag and screw at its bottom. Okay. Now, uh, there are uh, two scales uh, on the zoo side, one in centimeters, the other in the inches. Two scales are there for accurate readings. So vernier calipers is also attached. A vernier calipers, like for example, in general physics, in the interpret, you may have innumerable types. Same is there. The mercury column in the tube is uh, support, supported by the pressure of the air on the surface of the mercury in the system. The, uh, to take the pressure reading, uh, the height of the mercury column is measured uh, okay, on main scale and uh, then vernier scale is red. This is how we simply do it uh, to read the Fortis barometer. There are certain uh, basic uh, 
you know standard a basic standard procedure a simple procedure what is it read the attached thermometer there is a relation between the pressure and temperature that's why so read the attached thermometer to the nearest degree for the time specified for the barometer observation as i said the, the instruments to be measured in a meteorological observation or in a agrometeorological observation there are fixed timing so you just read the thermometer as for the specific timing then gently tap the system here i am telling system is a very very important part gently tap the system and the tube of the instrument two to three times you know, so with the fingers so we just try to give some sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, movement okay gentle movement for the system okay, okay no? so now so raise the surface of the mercury in the system by screwing up the plunger at the base until the tip of the ivory point just touches its image in the clear mercury surface this i am going to show you in the live demonstration youtube live demonstration youtube again i am going to display this one so set the lower edge of the veneer first tangent to the top of the meniscus of the mercury now so the read the scale of the veneer check the readings by making a press setting this is how we can just see the pressure it's a very very simple instrument which is a very there is a standard procedure for that now so two factor what is two factor same as the what is barometer same Procedure is also same. Just for your academic interest, I just read for a few seconds. This is also like potent parameter. System vessel is fixed. Okay, if there is no adjusting screw. This is the only difference. The adjusting screw is not there to allow the rise and fall of the mercury in the system. The divisions are made unequal, so the initial adjustment of the system is not required. Initial adjustment is not at all required in the uh, two pattern. So the set and read very simple. As I said, you know, like. Uh, the 14th barometer observe the thermometer attached tap the instrument gently set the venous scale read the reading simple as simple as simple aneroid this is very interesting aneroid nowadays you know uh, barometer barograph barometer instant like our uh, when you go by the scooter speedometer like barometer we okay so barograph so we read so nowadays uh, uh, these are very much in use barrow first meter simple instantaneously we get it there so there is a silicon cell here and then uh, uh, the silicon cells you know they are aneroid so when pressure goes on decreasing uh, 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 so they expand like this when pressure goes on increasing they go like this so this is conveyed to a uh, indicator that is the barometer simple principle let us see aneroid means without liquid okay anything without any liquid okay um, and that was great so so use of uh, cell phone cell which is a partially evacuated metal rifle it is a partially evacuated metal rifle not exactly zero zero no partially rifle is the expands or collapses depending upon the how it ex it expands or collapse expands collapse expands depending upon the pressure simple principle operation measurement this is constructed with uh, one or two okay uh, or sometimes more bellows that have been partially evacuated bellows means you know cell just like in our carrots board you know white uh, black uh, red are there like that you know one or two three like that we use it silver cells are there so they are partially evacuated now so each bellow may bellow means you know in the uh, uh, just you know carrots when we play so like that you know one or two bellows will be there so each bellow may contain an uh, internal string or may be constructed from the camper seal which acts as a string now as i said you know in the live demonstration class which i am going to upload in the youtube you know there you will see once again now just uh, this is a practical class you will learn it how to operate the operation measurement now the spring forces uh, the bellows apart uh, against force exerted atmospheric pressure if the atmospheric pressure decreases if the atmospheric pressure decreases the springs expand the springs expand it is like this decreases decreasing in the atmosphere springs expand if the atmosphere increases, okay, like this, like this. Okay, like this. Now, so the variations of the bellows with the pressure changes is mechanically linked to indicator on a calibrated dial, like our watch dial is there, you know, expand, expansion, contraction of the okay, cell phone cell is uh, uh, conveyed to the indicator on a calibrated dial. Okay, so zero uh, to 100 in the humidity we find here. Okay, so the other uh, numbers are there. Pressure is measured in the centimeters, millimeters, 
or uh, uh, bars, uh, milli bars, uh, what not. So there are units depending upon the make, you know. So Android environment is a suitable for outdoor management, instantaneous outdoor management is very much useful. Now, Android Barrow graph, simple, very, very simple. One or two cell phone cells are there. In the Barrow graph, you know, one, two, three, four, five, more number of uh, cells are there. One above the other, one above the other, one above the other. So, they, when the atmosphere pressure, okay, it is like this. When the atmosphere pressure goes on decreasing, it expands, they expand. When the atmosphere pressure goes on increasing, it goes. So, one over the other, one over the other, one over the other, other, it is converted to a magnifying system, it is attached to a pen knob or the rotating knob, it goes on the rotating. Please note that. So, this is the principle. What I explained to you is the principle. Now, a sensitive element in this device is aneroid capsule. Aneroid capsule. So, which consists of a closed circular vacuum box or boxes? Boxes. Boxes. Like a carom box, uh, carom coin, you know. Right. <clears throat> so, the box is made. Each one is made up of an alloy of silver plated beryllium copper. So, as atmosphere pressure rises, as atmosphere pressure rises or falls. The walls of the box collapses or distend. Okay, proportional to the impression presence of pressure changes. Depending upon the changing of the pressure, cell phone cells you know, either expand or contract, expand or contract like that. Okay, so the motion is communicated to it. As I said, the motion of this is communicated to the uh, lever system connected to a rotating drum on which there is a recording is made. So our pen, like you know, so it is made. Rotating drum is there. Changes are connected to the magnifying. Again, I am telling you in the live uh, videos of on pressure, you know, you will find this one. Uh, barometer. This is the barometer. Now, in the diagram also, the next slide is the diagram. I will show you how it uh, exactly operates. Uh, this is an instrument used to record that possible pressure continuously. Okay. So, continuously recording. After recording, we can take it out and keep it for uh, one year, two years, or three years. How pressure has changed from midnight to zero, zero hours. 24 hours so like that we can go on go on recording and then store it in the meter narrow meter instantaneous reading we just write it on the book this way book but it goes on changing it won't record meter won't record graph records that's what now there is no much difference between these two except the recording system is here so the characteristics of the sensitive element of the paragraph are thin wall corrugated silver plated and aneroid this is very aneroid the movement of the aneroid box corresponding to pressure changes depends upon the dimensions of the aneroid box, the kind of material used. This is the thing. So, how uh, it is being done? The accumulative effect of the pressure fluctuations will be recorded by a spindle running vertically through the boxes. Boxes means, you know, as I said two times, uh, our caroms coin slide. Okay, one by one. So, boxes, the box, aneroid boxes. Or cell phone cells we call them as one end of the spindle is fixed and the other end that touches the lever mechanism. One end of the is fixed below. As I said in the live, you can see it. one end is fixed, the other end is connected to the magnifying system in the arm to record over the rotating arm. So okay, this mechanism operates a pen arm, the tip of which is self-inked and it touches is sharp or wrapped around a rotating arm, like our pen, you know, or like our uh, watch. So we can keep it like this watch, okay? We can keep it rotating drum. The works, this works with the clock mechanism and completes one rotation in 24 hours. The graph uh, chart is calibrated vertically in pressure units. Uh, the pressure is recorded to the pressure of one millibar, okay? The chart of the aerogram has to be replaced every day, like uh, self uh, recording ranges, like uh, uh, our rather uh, uh, high growth graph, okay? The graph is also has to be changed for every 24 hours, any uh, so defect due to temperature can be corrected by a, a certain uh, quantity of uh, dry air, but we compare with it, you know. So to reduce the friction error, a clean pen, okay, a clean pen should be used. Now, this is how a barometer, cell phone cell is there, one cell is there. Okay, here, number of cells are there. So, expansion or contraction is conveyed to the magnetic system and a rotating drum. Okay. Now, so units of measurement I told several times. Pressure units, centimeters, millimeters, bars, millimeters, everything. Now, so small exercise I tried. This is not exactly pressure. Vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is very, very important for agrometrology. So that's why I tried to design an experiment with my own experience. So very simple one. Wet and tribal hygrometers. 
take six distilled water, 100 ml, you take thin pores. Thin pores means, you know, two, three pores like this, you know, uh, one or two by two minutes, for example. Take it, cross uh, watches also, you try to have procedure. Fix one thin post each in the open field. In the open field, you keep one. In the open field, one post. Also, two minutes, right, for example. In the proper field, one post. Uh, so, mount a pair of wet valve and diver uh, uh, hygrometers uh, to the clamps, you know. Arms are there, clamps are there, you just hang them. Okay? You just hang them. Now, so what you do it? So at these three places, 10 centimeters above the crop, 10 centimeters into the crop from the surface or carefully, 10 centimeters above the ground. Okay. Dival wet one, dival wet one, dival wet one. Okay. Now, so same setup in the outside, open field. So, but never allow the direct sunrise to fall. When the direct sunrise falls on those thermometers, what will happen? It they measure thermometer measure their own temperature. So to avoid it, kill them properly. That is required. So uh, wait for uh, two minutes until the wet bulb reading becomes steady. Read the wet bulb, read the dry bulb, repeat the same at 15 minutes interval. Compute the vapor pressure from the suitable tables. Uh, so record the observation. This is a very interesting uh, pressure uh, exercise at the field level for micrometer was the study. So vapor pressure. I told in the theory. My YouTube channel is. Uh, uh, agrometrology, farmers and rural development care have given very elaborate with the theory care, you know. So for that theory, you know, this is the practical. Let's to take two or four, so, so three clamps each. So there is a hanger for a hanger for each one. In the crop field, 10 centimeters above, within the crop, from the surface, canopy otherwise, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters from the ground. So same setup here. So, wet and dry bulb, vapor pressure we calculate instead of pressure actually at the field. We use the vapor pressure, which is the directly related to our crops or crop studies. This is what I would like to impress upon you. So, here please understand that the 14 parameters, few better parameters of the, okay, uh, they are uh, the bigger, bigger size ones. Are, so, the small one is the Android barometer, Android barograph. Again, I am telling you in the live uploading of the YouTube channel next after this class, you will find in the live how. Okay, these uh, uh, look like that much for this class. Before I end the class, and thank you very much once again. So, officially, so I would like to say you that you know, challenges come in life, we should not go other down, they should not uh, go other down. So what we should do, we should learn that you know, they are meant to sharpen our abilities and wake us up when we are fast asleep. You know, these troubles or challenges uh, makes us alive, makes us wake up. Okay, they wake up. So in order to face these troubles or challenges, a lot of courage is necessary, a lot of courage. You face it, you challenge it, you take it, you come up in the life. May God bless you. Best of luck. Now, uh, just a small recording is also there. Thank you very much. Okay.